available expert. Please report to room A9. Hello guys, Exeter here and welcome to house cleaning. This is what the module will look like. It will have a grid with some bolded lines on it and these four buttons at the top. The four buttons at the top will correspond to a certain cleaning appliance used to clean out either red shells, bananas, green shells or fake item boxes, which we see in this grid here. Our first aim will be to, to find what the bold lines refer to in this grid. They should only refer to one region of the grid, one 5x5 five five region. So we're going to note down here that D is for red shells, T is for bananas, S is for green shells, and shamrocks, and H shamrocks is for fake item boxes, just so I don't keep on scrolling up and down. So this first one, we're looking for you know, there's only a full line at the top and a four long line at the bottom and nothing else. So if we're looking in this region here possibly, it might be this region. It's, does this make sense? Uh, we have the line at the top, we have the four line at the bottom, and we have nothing else. So yes, this is what we're looking for. So, now we've got our grid. Let's use each of these to clean up each of the individual things. Let's just go from left to right on here. So You press the bottom first to choose a cleaner, and then you click the grid. Don't do it the other way around, or else you'll be trying to clean with Either the wrong thing or with nothing. Can you clean with nothing? I don't. I think you can probably. So we picked H, which is for fake kinds of boxes, which is just in the top middle here. And there will be a sort of. There will be a sound to indicate when you clicked on a space which is sort of like a sort of like a squirt bottle sound if you didn't hear it. So D is for red shells which is here. S is for greens which we have one here and one here. And T is for bananas and we have one here and one here. And once we've Clean everything, we get our module. Let's do that again. So this one is looking like this region down here. Go from here to here. We have the box bit here. We have a line down across here. We have a line left down, right down and left here. So yeah. And then, same as previously, H for FIPS, there's one in the bottom middle, and there's one in the middle right. We can then have red shells, which is one in from the middle right. Greens, which is one above the bottom middle and bottom left corner. And bananas, which is top left corner, and one below the top, mid the top middle. We get our module. Let's do one more example. This region is looking like it's going to be here. Let's see, does this make sense? We have this and this. We have the line down there. And we have a line around here. Yeah, this is our, our final grid. And same pre process before. H is for FIPS. There's one here. In the case you get one wrong, if an incorrect item is used for a space, you want to detect it and issue a strike. Like, for instance, there we go. So let's do it properly. D cleans the red shells, here and here. S is the green shells, here. And T is for bananas, which is 
here. And we're going to tell module. So that was house cleaning. It's a very simple module. Just remember what all of the letters mean and be sure to find the right grid where every single line makes sense. Because I would assume there's probably like some grid, grid, part, grid parts here that would look the same, but if you check it with all the lines, one won't, won't make sense. So just make sure you've got the right area and then the module is quite easy. So that was house cleaning. Hopefully the module makes a bit more sense now. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. I'll see you later.